Hey, you shot here with Speed Addicts, and today we're gonna uncrate the anti-gravity lithium battery, the ATX30. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and break down this anti-gravity battery for you, go ahead and subscribe to the Speed Addict channel. That'll keep you up to date on all latest parts and gear coming your way. Always working hard here to educate you and give you that first look. If you subscribe, you don't have to worry about missing out. Also, to support us here at speedx.com, you can do so by simply shopping with us. There's a link in the description and they'll get you right over to the full suite of anti-gravity lithium ion batteries. Some of the easiest upgrades you can make to your ATV, your side-by-side, -side, or your motorcycle. It's really satisfying and quick install and you will thank me later. Okay, anti-gravity's got a good story too. They're actually founded by a native Californian. This is kind of like a garage inventor turned um, you know, successful lithium battery company. Uh, Anti-Gravity's been around for a minute and their HQ is here in California. We really like their products and have been selling them for a long time with a lot of success. So the ATX30 is a big format battery. It is popular in a lot of ATVs and side-by-sides. It replaces a number of different batteries that are listed here, the YTX series, the YIX, and the GYZ. You can take a look at that and if you have any of these model numbers in your machine then you are um, set up to swap it out with this ATX30 lithium ion battery. Now the advantage of lithium ion is that it's going to have twice the cranking amps over lead acid that has longer sim standby life but one of the most noticeable things it's just so much lighter this thing's about five to six pounds whereas the lithium or the lead acid version of this battery would be upwards of 20 plus pounds. Now the ATX20 ATX30 comes in the, this ATX30 standard with restart. I'll explain that in a minute. And then there's an you'll see an ATX30 HD. And we're going to talk about both of them right now because they are the same battery except for the HG has more capacity and slightly more cranking amps. So who should pick the HD? I'd recommend it for those larger displacement machines or if you have a lot of accessories plugged into your ATV or side-by-side -side that are going to draw more power, okay? So the standard ATX30 is $399 MSRP, and the HD is a pretty big upgrade coming in at $559. Now, the standard version has this restart technology, and the cool thing about the restart is that it won't let you run it dead. It will run down with a slight reserve, and if your machine will not start, you can open up your battery compartment, press this button and you're going to have at least enough juice to get you started again so this is kind of a fail safe or idiot proof battery when it comes to running it dry now again this replaces the ytx 30 series and the yix 30 series where we already showed you the cross compatibility and if you're over at speedax.com we should show you all those vehicle fitments so you can confirm it fits your machine now if you're not sure about fitment we always recommend talking to our rider support team we have qualified experts to help you determine if it is the right fit. So if you're on the fence, just hit those guys up on the live chat or on the phones, okay? So a few more specs on this. It includes a battery management system that's built into the tech here, including overcharge protection, uh, over discharge protection, thermal protection, and cell balancing. So this is actually real smart battery technology. And again, much, much lighter, uh, 880 cranking amps for the standard. And then the HD is going to give you a fair bit more. I think it's coming in at 970. The case size 6x5x5x6.8 by five by five by and the standard is, let's see here, it's about six pounds and then you step up to almost eight pounds for that HD. In terms of amp hours, the standard has 32 amp hours, the one in front of me. HD is going to give you a full 48. So big step up, they're packing more cells into that one. Now you'll notice the terminals, there are ambidextrous uh, battery terminals here they give you two sets so it doesn't matter what side your connection is coming from you're always going to be able to reach you get a three-year warranty from anti-gravity and they do stand behind that is a, is a good one it's full replacement in the first year and then it's some sort of prorated deal if it fails over the next couple years you do need if you're not familiar with lithium ion batteries you will need a new charger you can't use your lead acid charger on a lithium ion unless it expressly says that on the packaging some of them will go both ways but uh, typically you do need to get a specific lithium ion charger or trickle charger maintainer we do have those 
Uh, the Optimate is our choice on the site here. And usually if you look down on our product page, you'll see it as um, frequently bought together. So you can get them both at the same time. Okay, that about does it for the anti-gravity ATX 30 series. Again, a very straightforward upgrade that you can do yourself. Of course, follow all those manufacturer directions that are included in the packaging to stay safe and protect your equipment. But the stuff is just so much lighter than lead acid, and it is very, very powerful. Anti-gravity also has quick starter and jump starter um, micro starts, which we like a lot around here. That does it. If you got questions, go talk to our rider support team at Speed Addicts, where you can always talk to a human. If you've already got or run an anti-gravity brand battery, let us know how you like it in the comment section below. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.